M0FXB Micro PA50 Amp. It's recommended to upgrade to the 2.9.6 firmware. So go to the link provided on the Facebook page and just click it and it will download the zip at the top. And there's only one file in there that I'm interested in, but you get, if you click it, to show you, you get one here for the PA100, PA50, I've got the PA50 Plus, which is that one. And what's the last one? Another PA50 one. But I'm only interested in this one here that's PA50 Plus. So I'm going to put that where I can find it, that little bin file, hex file there. So I just literally dragged it and dropped it just there on my desktop. It's quite high up there, but it is there. Let's move it down a bit. So I know where it is. Take the lid off your PA50. Very easy to do. Two Allen keys at the top and the bottom, at the front and the back, and then it just lifts off. Then I recommend you take off just here where my finger is. Take off that speaker, not speaker, fan connector. And then you've got to start adding some cables. Now the kit that you're going to need, which I recommend, is this one. I'll put the link in. It's got everything you need. It's on Amazon. Download AVR, AVR Dudes, uh, I'm using 2.14, uh, you're going to need that to, to load the software, so it's a firmware loader, let's call it. If you look here, you've got green, yellow, then orange, and then there's space, there's one pin unused, and then brown, and on, on the other, on the USB end, you can see there, orange, green, yellow, and then uh, at the very end, you miss a pin, you've got the brown, which is the ground. Once you've done that, power it and in your COM port, so go to here, right click, device manager. Double click ports. And you need to see this, silicon CP210 and I'm COM33, so you need that number. And yes, it is plugged in and turned on. You can actually see the front earlier. Now open up AVR, dude. So run the zip. Which is just here. Run the top one, 2.14 portable zip. And then open that up. So if you start to type here, if it's not showing up, start to type in your search and this is what it looks like. Okay, now we did run this the other day with 1.91, but I was told use 2.96. So nice and easy now. So first thing I would do is make sure your comms in, 33, board rate. If you click detect now, it should make a noise, which mine just did, which my device just did. I'll just show you again, detect. And I'm working fine. Now up here, look, it says AT Mega 328P. Make sure you've got that selected. Haven't changed anything here uh, or here. So we're just going to select the, the bin file now. At the moment, it's selected 1.91. So we're going to hit the dots here. And then go to my desktop and find that, which is labeled V2.9. Just down here, double click, and it's put it there. Just remember, we do have to sort of reboot the the um, Micro 50 after this is finished. Now, I do have the, the, the Micro 100, but we'll do separate videos on that. So, right, so now we've done that, we literally just click Program, okay? And if it's working, it will make lots of noises, and then it will say Writing. Reading. So it's version 2.9.6. And it says it's done. So I'm just going to turn it off and on. And then we're going to just, to reboot, you literally just turn it off. Hold the fing hold your finger on the white button. And then we just turn the power supply on and off. Like so, it goes off completely. Still getting power from the USB, so let's disconnect that. Won't blow anything up. Right, I've disconnected that. Now I'll turn it on. 
and you'll just see it's booting up but it does say 2.9.6 but to do it properly turn it off you hold your finger i've been told on the function and then turn it on and hopefully that reset it and that's it so i'm going to do some tests now and see how that works but we've definitely gone up to 2.9.6 i'm just going to give you a close-up on those cables that's where they go there is actually a diagram that shows you how to connect these but anyway pause it and you know you've got dtr rx tx and then you've got ground okay i'll put the manual on my on my facebook page ham tech radio scanner the links there We've got very quite detailed instructions there how to connect the pins and how to actually do this process. Uh, so there you are. That's going to help you. That will be linked in the description. And of course, the Amazon purchase for the for the USB adapter and even the amp. So 7.3, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, gonna, looking forward to testing.